guys welcome or welcome back if you're new here hi my name is Saz and welcome so today I am unboxing my first um, budget box from P Louise I now have a monthly rolling subscription so this is like my first one of that I've had um, one or two um, one-offs in the past and they've always been pretty much incredible so I'm really excited about this one so let's get in just to you know if you hear like a buzzing sound it's a fan it is really hot in the UK and us people in the UK get to 20 degrees and we, we just can't cope so yeah iced coffee and a fan okay so P Louise's budget boxes are 30 pounds and they always have so much value to these um but yeah so this is what they look like and i said okay so oh it looks like it's really really full so i'm just gonna go okay we have a highlighter this is in the shade perfect match i think this is like a new shade um i don't think i've actually heard this shade before I'm praying it's not going to be really, really dark and I'm actually going to be able to use it. Oh, okay. I think I might be able to get away with that. This is what it looks like. Okay. I think I might be able to get away with it. It's quite, I'm not sure. It looks different in different lights. But yeah, so that is what you get. And these are £18 each on that one. Okay, next up, we have a P. Louise blush. I already have this. This is in the shade Sun Kissed Mist. So I'm going to get the one that I already have to swatch for Okay, you. so this is the Sun Kissed Mist. And it's actually a really, really, really beautiful colour. This is what it looks like. It's just an absolute stunning colour. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Next up, we have a Juicy Drip box thing. Um, it is sweet like chocolate. Um, I'm not too sure. I like fruity flavours and like fruity scents. But, yeah, no. Okay, for the product that I think is a complete exclusive, it is Shut Up and Kiss Me um, lipstick palette. So... I'm not an MUA, so this probably might not be much use to me. Um, I mean, it's cute, but I get child makeup vibes from this, if I'm honest. Um, and I feel like a lot of the lipstick shades are very, very similar. So I'm not sure about that. Yeah, it's. I think it's nice. I think it'd be good for MUAs. But the only problem with that is that a lot of people who get the budget boxes aren't MUAs. And they're not the biggest of palettes. They're quite small. Um, yeah, I, I don't know about this one. I'm not sure. I like it, but I'm not sure it gives me kid makeup vibes i think it'd be best suited for someone who is an mua or likes different lip colors and just wants a palette but you can't really take this out with you because you need the lip brush and i don't know but you know what for 30 pound the value is absolutely incredible i'm not sure about the shade on this one i'm just a bit worried it's going to be too dark for my skin tone but it looks lighter in different lights so i'm not too sure i think i need to see this swatch before i make my decision but yeah that is what i got in this month's budget box i think it's great value i really do think it's great value probably not my favorite box probably not the one that gets me like really excited but next month i am so excited for because apparently there's going to be something purple in it Apparently we're getting the purple palette. So I'm really, really excited for that one. But yeah, that is what I got in this month's budget box. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it, if you think it's good. The only thing I would say is I think it would be really, really, really useful if when you are signing up for the monthly budget box to be able to put your skin tone, whether you've got very light, like fair skin or if you're light skin medium skin deep dark um 
and that kind of thing and that's maybe like your hair color or just at least your skin tone and that way then the budget boxes could be a bit more suited to you and your skin tone like just have all like light colored highlighters and then that way they all suit everyone's skin tone but i know she does get a lot of budget boxes um i think she has about like I feel like she's got like 6,000 people on the budget boxes. Um, so, but yeah, I just think it would just be a little bit better if she could do that. But I do understand that that would take probably a lot longer to do. Um, but yeah, I just think it might be a certain way you can get a highlighter that is going to be suited to your skin tone and you can use. And then you're not frustrated because you can't use it um but yeah anyway that's just my thoughts but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed and i will do doing these monthly for however long i decide to keep it but yeah i'm gonna go now <laughs> and have a good day everyone and i'll see you next one bye